Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. Today I will teach you how to blend multiple exposures into one using luminosity masks. So let's start. For this tutorial we will need these five different exposures of a sunset that I took a few months ago. The first one is basically exposure for the foreground element, the grass and the rock here. The second one it's exposed for the mid middle part of the image, for those faraway mountains and a little bit for the sky. The third, fourth and fifth one are basically for the sky and the sun itself. Alright, before we start we need to choose the base exposure on which we will build our image. For this uh, situation here, I will choose the second layer, the second exposure, because it contains the most information about the foreground and the background elements, about the shadows and the highlights. And I will just bring this layer at the bottom here. Okay, and I will get rid of this layer mask, delete layer mask. The next step is to make luminosity mask, but before I do that, I will just explain you quickly what the luminosity masks are. They are basically representation of highlights, midtones and shadows on the image. We can, do, we can do that by going here on the channel tab and just press control or command key and uh, click on the first RGB channel. And now we have a selection that represents the global highlights on the scene. If we make mask out of it by clicking the mask button here, we will have the first uh, first luminosity mask that represent lights. Okay, let's name it lights one. All right, if we want to narrow this selection to represent only the brighter highlights on the scene, we will do the next. Again, load the selection by holding control command key, click it on it, and then you need to hold shift control alt of sh or shift command option and just click again on the same alpha channel. And as you can see, uh, we have a selection that it's a little bit smaller. If we make mask out of it and go here, we have masks that represent only the brighter highlights on the scene. And we can do that again and again and again until we are satisfied with that. If we want to make, let's name first this lights two. If we want to make luminosity masks for the shadows, then it's really easy, just select uh, just duplicate the, the luminosity mask for the lights, all right? And just invert it with Control command i And this is luminosity mask for the shadows. Of course, you, as you can see here, the brightest part on the image are not visible in this mask. All right, we can do the same the, for the second uh, lights and invert it. And now, as you can see, this is the first shadow mask and this is the second shadow mask. Of course, this is more narrowed shadow mask. It represent the darkest, darkest shadow on the scene. All right, and what we need next is to make luminosity masks for the midtones. Of course, as you know, midtones are basically absence of highlights and shadows in the scene. And then we will just select everything in the scene, Control A. And we need to subtract the lights and the shadows here. Okay, let's name this first shadow is one and the second shadows two. All right, we have our selection ready. It's the whole image and just go here to the lights one holding control and alt or command and option on the Mac. We have the minus icon appeared and just subtract this and subtract the shadows one all right we will got this warning get this warning but just don't bother it just press ok and make a mask and as you can see this mask represents the midtones on the scene the highlights are not visible the darkest shadows are not visible only the midtones here are visible all right we can do that again with the uh, lights one and shadows uh, lights 2 and shadows 2 and make alpha channel for the midtones too, but we will not do that now. For this tutorial, we will not use midtones, just uh, just lights, just luminosity mask for the lights. All right, let's go to our image. First, I will make again luminosity mask for the 
brightest part of the image for the highlights. We already have that luminosity mask, it's lights one, and we will lower that mask by holding control or command key and just click it on it. Or maybe the better, the better situation for this image is to load the lights too, because we don't actually need this part of the image. And we can just refine a little bit this mask by going here to dodge and burn tool and go to the burn, burn only shadows, maybe 10% exposure and just paint here over the shadows because we don't need this part to be visible at all. All right, let's load now this selection, go to our layers. And for this layer here, let's load just this part of the sky. Click on the layer mask with the white brush and 100% opacity. Just paint here on the sky. As you can see, we are now painting back some information from another exposure. Okay, the next step is to load a new luminosity mask for this layer now, for this uh, situation on the screen. We will now go again to the channels, control command, click, and holding shift control alt or shift command option, click again on the same RGB uh, channel. And we have the narrowed selection, like its representation of lights too on the scene. All right, then we will go to this layer here and load only this brighter part of the image. Let's for that use 50% opacity and just quickly paint back some parts that we wanted, but I will now hide the selection, control command H and paint back some parts. Nice. And for the last one, we We'll use again the same procedure, channels, control, command, click, shift, control, alt, or shift, command, option on the Mac, and just press again, go back to the layers, hide selection, and with white, and maybe 20% opacity, just paint back some information about the sun. All right, and let's deselect it, 10% opacity brush, and just paint back upper part of the sky. Nice. And we are left with only the highlights on the scene that we are not used for now. And this is the second layer from below. And we will now use it to paint back some highlights on the scene. For that, again, load the highlights, control, command, control, command, click on the RGB layer, go here. And with maybe 30% opacity, hide just this selection, paint back some lights on the scene here on the foreground like so maybe maybe it's too much okay let me just check nice nice i like it already all right basically we are done with blending our exposures into one but we will now go a little bit further and enhance this image mm, a little bit more i will use Curse adjustment layer, go here on the red channel and add a little bit of red, go here on the blue channel and reduce blue or actually add a yellow because it's opposite color of a blue, all right? And we need to make this mask black and just paint with white brush and maybe 20% opacity here this part of the sky just to add a little bit more saturation and the color and maybe with 10 percent opacity just here like so okay the next step is to add some color correction here and i will do that using nick color fx pro it's google free software uh, let's first stamp all image all layers together with shift Control alt e and go to the filters nick collection color fx pro and for that i will use the pro contrast because the pro contrast actually preserves the highlights pretty good let me show you the rustic result see the sun the highlights are pretty pretty good preserved but a normal regular contrast slider blows highlights away completely and i will use dynamic contrast here because it's something that i really liked all right about 30 it's okay 
and just press oops sorry press ok after that we can go and duplicate this layer and go to the filters and uh, use let duplicate filter and use just camera row filter and add a little bit more contrast and I will go here to add vignetting like so to feather it maybe a little bit let me see like so it's okay and let's see about the shadow slider just a touch all right that's something I liked it's my preference you can use your own of course and the last step it's to sharpen this image for sharpening there are a lot of different methods but we will use the easiest one for this tutorial let's duplicate this layer and just go to the filter other high pass and I think around one one and a half let me see the details here uh, one and a half it's enough and go put it on a linear light blending mode and let me see the result quickly before and after before and after pretty nice but I don't like sharpening on the sky for that I will use again mask and with the black brush 100% opacity I will just paint here on the sky because I don't want sky to be a sharpen you can see nice before and after before and after nice pretty good nice we are practically done with this image and with this tutorial I hope that you like it and that you learn something new out of it and if you have any questions at all please be free to ask them in the comment below see you next time in the next tutorial bye bye